What's Joe Biden going to do? I am running and we're going to win. <laughs> The Democrats, the self-styled party of saving democracy, just initiated a coup to remove their own democratically elected candidate. The party of saving democracy just told their 14 million primary voters their votes didn't matter. The party of saving democracy will have their own elite insiders picking the actual candidate. But it's Trump who's the real threat to democracy, trust us. Democracy will be on the ballot. Trump is a existential urgent threat to our democracy. 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 See, that's not like voting as a system by which we decide who's going to be the president. Yeah. Democracy. 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 Trust the same people who for over a year called you a wild conspiracy theorist for saying Biden was in cognitive decline, only to turn around and seize upon that very same narrative to enact a coup against Biden because he was in cognitive decline. <laughs> And the way it all ended was really quite bizarre, wasn't it? Biden's campaign insists for weeks that he's staying in the race. Biden himself seemed more resolved than ever to remain. They've already put together a campaign schedule covering the whole week. Then suddenly, yesterday, he has a massive change of heart. And his campaign team finds out he's stepping down a minute beforehand. Some say a minute after a statement appeared on X written by a guy called Steve. No speech, no press conference, nothing. Some people even doubt it was Biden who signed the letter. Others question why his signature was underlined. Biden's brother confirms his health was a major factor. A member of the president's family now confirming that uh, the president's health was indeed a major factor. Then oddly hints at Biden not even having very long left. He told us, he said, I'm incredibly proud of my brother. Selfishly, I will have him back to enjoy whatever time we have left. It's all very weird. But Biden wasn't very far off with this prediction if 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 i reach something where there's a a fundamental disagreement we have based on a moral principle i'll uh, I'll, I'll 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 develop some disease and say i have to resign um, we, we don't have that. I'm a, we haven't. So Biden's cognitively incapable of leading a political campaign, but he is cognitively capable of having access to the nuclear codes and leading the biggest superpower on earth for the next six months. Proof once again that whoever's been in charge of the United States for the last six months, maybe two years, he definitely wasn't Biden. And I tell you what, you ought to take a look at his doctors because his doctors keep giving him this wonderful report. I'm not a doctor. But I saw him the other day, was unable to get up the children's stairs going Absolutely. into yeah. Air Force One. Is it a coup against Joe Biden? Uh, it's sort of, yeah. I, I think it is. Let's also reflect for a moment on the fact that for months, if not years, the legacy media monstered anyone who suggested Biden was in physical or cognitive decline as dangerous disinformation pushing right-wing conspiracy theorists, to the point that at one stage they even claimed it was a Kremlin psyop. Then as soon as the deep state and the Democratic Party elite decided Biden couldn't win, they immediately seized upon and legitimized that very same conspiracy theory to initiate a coup to force Biden to step aside. Two days before that infamous debate, CNN was still pushing the narrative that anyone who drew attention to Biden's verbal gaffes or used, quote, out of context video clips to claim he was mentally incapable of running for president again was amplifying a, quote, bogus narrative that would be, quote, ripped up in real time during the debate. Then literally minutes after the debate and for the next three weeks solid, CNN and the rest of them went gangbusters with that very same support supposedly bogus narrative, once again illustrating how the media weaponizes the term conspiracy theory to diminish and derail facts that they later have to admit were true all along. And where's the humility? Where's the mea culpa? They'll deride a manifestly observable reality, castigate anyone who points it out, then do a complete 180 when it serves their interests. Of course the emperor has clothes, you deranged lunatic. How dare you suggest otherwise? Five minutes later, the emperor has no clothes. Cold turkey may be great, on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. And I'm not talking about some hippie yoga retreat, I'm talking about our sponsor Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything about a bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavoured air device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapour, Fume uses flavoured air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all-natural 
delicious flavours. You get it, instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. Keeping your fingers occupied, which is helpful for de-stressing while breaking your bad habit. Check out spearmint ice flavour, which fume just sent me. Oh yes, that is indeed spearminty fresh. The surprise really hits when you realise it's way more flavourful than you'd expect. Then there's the satisfying tactile feel of the thing. Well weighted, perfectly balanced and a lot of fun to fidget with. Stopping is something we all put off because it is hard. But switching to fume is easy, enjoyable and even fun. Fume has served over 300,000 customers and you can be their next success story. For a limited time use my code PJW to get your free fume base when you order the journey pack. It's the all new magnetic stand for your fume device. Head to tryfume.com slash PJW. That's tryfum.com and use my code PJW or scan the QR code on the screen to get your free fume base when you order the journey pack today. Kamala, I call her laughing Kamala. You ever watch her laugh? She's crazy. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. Are they really going to run with Kamala Harris? A woman so thick, she sometimes made borderline senile Biden look smart in comparison. Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. She speaks in, uh, in rhyme. In, uh... It's weird. It's weird. But she has bad moments. And In rhyme? What do you... Well, the way she talks, the bus will go here and then the bus will go there because that's what buses do. And it's weird. The whole thing is weird. This is not a president of the United States future. A woman so woke she made Biden look like a based throwback. Anna, thank you guys. And my pronouns right. are she, her, and hers. She, her, and hers? Mine too. All right. Uh, good afternoon. I want to welcome these leaders for coming in to have this very important discussion um, about some of the most pressing issues of our time. Um, I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. And um, a woman who kneeled for George Floyd for eight minutes straight. Some point out the big names are yet to back her, and in fact have been slagging her off during their secret meetings. Um, I am not confident at all because, as it was laid out earlier, I do know that, you know, behind closed doors, while I won't name names, that there were people that were absolutely like, it can't be the vice president. So in one breath they were saying, you know, the president needs to be out, and the next breath they were also saying, it can't be her. But some say this is all just a veneer to create the illusion of democratic choice. When the fix has been in for a while and Kamala has already been coronated. The cash floodgate has suddenly swung wide open and the Soros money is already rolling in. Now CNN's already vetting her running mates like she's got it locked in. Pennsylvania's Governor Josh Shapiro is being discussed as one of Harris's potential running mates. He also endorsed her tonight. In your view, what are the pros and cons for putting him on the ticket? Kamala received zero delegates in 2020, muscled her way to VP through insider machinations, received zero delegates in 2024, now muscling her way to a presidential nomination through insider machinations, owes her entire ascendance to dem party elites as opposed to voters. Perfect for the party of saving democracy. Now prepare for a propaganda campaign the likes of which you've never seen. Trying to sell Kamala like she earned it. When she's earned nothing but being in a position to be anointed as a result of an anti-democratic coup arranged by a shadow government. By the very same people who'll continue to lecture you night and day for the next 15 weeks about the sanctity of democracy. Oh, but she's Indian-American. 
and black somehow at the same time. They're literally going to spend the next few months running the DEI candidate and calling everyone who opposes her sexist Hitler. Now we're forced to stomach the same people who said you were crazy for saying Biden was too old. Assert that Trump is too old. Now we're about to be subjected to a massive gaslighting campaign by the media, who for a year or more covered up Biden's cognitive decline, asserting that Trump's cognitive decline disqualifies him from the presidency. <laughs> what do you think about the coup against Biden? Biden and the coronation of Queen Kamala. Remember to check out our sponsor Fume and let me know what you think in the comments down below. <laughs>